Questions for Coach? You talked about the communication defects. Did you get the communication you were hoping for today? It looked like uh, Demetrius and uh, Doss at least communicated on that. Right? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good from what I could see on the sideline. It was uh, a day where um, it was the first time we come over here. We came over here, and we're not doing anything brand new. So when you have practices in the Coliseum and scrimmage over here, um, because of the number of practices, you've got to continue to install your defense. So I think at times when we come over here, um, the guys were running stuff for the first time, and you know a lot of times, obviously the success rate is not going to be what you'd like when guys aren't as comfortable with what they're doing. And uh, we stopped putting things in last Tuesday, so we got a good practice on Thursday, and uh, we had a you know very very small game plan for today. And uh, you know, from what I could tell, the guys flew around pretty good out there. Well, TJ and Mikel gone, and Dion injured. Who has stepped up and taken on the leadership roles of Well, a couple. You know, I say uh, one guy at every level, level of our defense. I think Devon Kennard has done a great job uh, with his presence with, with the front, and Hayes Pillard has done a great job with the linebacker crew, and uh, you know, uh, Josh Shaw has done a nice job playing on a. Uh, you know, very well around the role for him. He you know, plays middle back, he plays both safety positions, he can play corner. You know, he gives us a lot of flexibility. So I would say, you know, those three guys have really jumped out. How would you assess the okay. how, would you, how would you assess the cornerback? Well, uh, you know, these guys they don't have a lot of experience, and uh, the techniques that they're learning are, are brand new, and the coverages are new. They haven't run them before. I think uh, I think there's progress there. And, uh, you know, the best thing that I see is that we're going against, you know, we're not going to see, we may see one of the, uh, you know, receivers as good as uh, one of our guys, but I don't know if we'll see two or three. Like, so it's been good work for our guys. Uh, I think it's been a group that has been inconsistent at times, that uh, is, a, is a work in progress, really, like the whole defense. But I, but I think we got some young guys that are, that are talented that uh, are just going to have to continue to work, and, and we'll see how they see how they do next month. Lane said that uh, they have been discussed with Nelson or Marquise there. I mean, it comes to dire straits. Uh, are you that concerned about the work comes to you? Are thinking about that also? Uh, you know, I, I, we, we got to play better, and uh, you know, we're going to put the best guys out there. They're going to give us the best chance for it. Deion Bailey will have to make that transition to a new position without having spring practice. Are you concerned about that? Well, you know, you got to be able to see it and rep it. And I haven't even seen a guy move around in, in space at all. So uh, that is a little bit of a concern um, because he is moving positions, I think. You know, he's been to a lot of the defensive back meetings, obviously, and has, has spent a lot of time with them to try to teach him the system. But, you know, he's got to get out there physically and do it. And, uh, you know, hopefully he'll be able to uh, start moving around soon where we can uh, you know, bring him along. The other day you said that the issue at quarterback isn't unlike anything you've had before going into a season. Mm -hmm. and with that being said, what's the next step as far as developing these guys? Well, I, I think guys uh, playing cornerback obviously is, is a position that um, you know you have to really study and know what your limitations are, know what the offense is like to do. Uh, you know, I, have, I was fortunate enough to to uh, you know, be in Dallas during the time when Deion Sanders was playing there. And there wasn't a guy that studied more than him. But <laughs> when to make plays, splits of receivers, how to jump certain things, take calculated chances. And he had a great skill set, but even all of his stuff was very calculated. And, uh, you know, as a young coach, being a secondary coach, moving up through my career, I've always tried to bring those things over into uh, the groups that I've coached. And um, so, you know, once, once you game plan people and understand uh, formations and coverages, things we're going to do with certain teams, it allows the player to make a few more plays. Have you tried to do any game planning against this offense, or are you pretty much playing? No, we just install the defense. So whatever we have in that day, um, you know, I have a certain number of times we're going to run it in that practice. And then uh, before spring practice, I had a, a – I mean, I know what this, this defense needs. And so I had a, a barometer of, okay, we need to run this at least 90 times live. we got to run this 75 times live. we got to run this 55 times live. In a, in a team situation. So, you know, those reps are, are uh, we come to practice and we work them. So, no, to answer your question. Have you gotten those reps in? You got yeah, the, I feel good. You get the numbers? Yeah.
you know, because we knew, um, you know, early on, I obviously know what we're going to do each day in practice before it starts. So, you know, that how many reps there's going to be in each practice, and you look at, okay, there's 1,500 plays, and we need to rep this this many times, you know, whatever it may be. So, I uh, feel good about what we're at from an installation standpoint. Would you like to have the luxury of the other safeties being solid enough to play Josh Shaw at corner? Uh, you know, I, I just think Shaw gives us some flexibility. Uh, you know, we want smart, tough, and player, smart, tough, competitive players to play in this defense, and he is one of those smart, tough, competitive players. And so we're going to do whatever we can to put the best 11 guys out there. So it's safe to say he'd be one of the four. Well, he, he's one of those guys that has shown himself that he's – He's got those those things. So, uh, you know, those are the kind, the kind of guys you want in your top 11. And he's, he's demonstrated that. So, uh, you know, it's early to say, uh, you know, we got a situation where we got four safeties that it have other, other than uh, you know, <coughs> Gerald Bowman hasn't played any. Uh, you know, of course, Dion hasn't played. You know, Sewell was out. Um, so, you know, those guys have to have to get back out there and, and produce and park in. But Shaw gives us a lot of flexibility. Do one more, Coach. Did, did you get, um, I don't know what your expectations were coming into this first spring here, but did you get accomplished what you hoped for or where there's some areas that you wish you guys could have done more? Where no. Kind of stand no, 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 I like where we're at. I like, uh, I like this group. I think they're very diligent workers. Um, um, you know, very, very uh, a high number of them, very smart football IQ wise. So we maybe do a little more than I anticipated uh, throughout the course of spring, but uh, you know we have a lot of work to do, and you know it's going to be the work that they put in between now and August on their own to uh, you know because we can't meet them very well. So the, you know, the groups have got to get their groups, and we've got to get on the field, and, and they got to study the cutups, and, and you know we'll have a plan for them. But uh, you know the, the most important time is going to be coming down August first. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I can read you guys.